Good morning. Uh, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy. And today I want to talk a little bit about uh, PowerShell class inheritance on what is PowerShell 5. So if we think about creating a car class and we define things such as the year, model, make, and the color, then we may look around in our parking lot and realize that all of a sudden, hey, you know, we have things other than cars, you know, such as you know, for instance, uh, trucks, um, four-wheel quad runners, RVs, you know, motorcycles or whatever. And all of these things are going to have a year, a model, a make, and a color. And so what I can do then is that um, I can create a base class that I call class vehicle, and I define the things that are going to be co in, uh, in common with all of the vehicles, you know, the year, the model, the make, and the color. And then once I do that, then when I go to create my car class, for instance, then I just simply inherit from this class, and uh, then I can use that. So here's an example then. So in uh, in this code here, I have a cl the base class, the vehicle, and I've got the year, the model, the make, and the color, and these are all defined in the base class. Well, then what I do is I inherit that base vehicle class, and I create my car class. And then the thing that's going to distinguish uh, my car from, say, like a quad runner, for instance, is that it's going to have a vehicle identification number, a VIN number. And so when I run this, and then I go to create a, a new instance so of the car class, so I go car uh, new, then you can see that uh, it has the VIN, the year, the model, the make, and the color. And I didn't define any of these things on my car class. Those were all defined on my vehicle class. And then I just simply inherited them uh, when I did this. Now, if I look at this, I can see that my model and my make and my color, these things are all defined as strings. But um, when I was creating my car class earlier, I um, created enumerations. The problem is that if I create an enumeration for a, um, a motorcycle, you know, then it may have things that are cre um, makes and models that wouldn't really be applicable to, say, the car class, uh, but it would be to the motorcycle class. So what I can do then is I can uh, just leave these as strings, and then when I inherit from the vehicle, then I'm going to override the uh, the model uh, or the make and the color in this case. And so I created an enumeration make of car, color of car. And then here's my enumeration, you know, Chevy, Ford, Toyota, blah, blah, blah. And then my color enumeration, red, green, blue, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then I override these. So notice that uh, these are the same properties that I picked up from the vehicle class. So that we've got the make and the color, but these are now defined as um, overridden as make of car, color of car. So when I run this and create this, and now then I come back and uh, let's store this in a, ver a variable A. Then I say dollar A, and I look, and I can see that I've got these. But then now I can say that uh, dot color uh, is equal to uh, three. And then I say dollar A, come back, and now that we've got a green car, I say that my, um, my uh, make is uh, equal to a two, and then I come back and I look at dollar A, and I can see that now I've got a green Ford. And um, but if I was to try to assign a different value to it, you know, such as dollar A dot color is uh, equal to a uh, purple, then it comes back and now we get an error, and it says, "Dude, no, you can't do that. I can use red, green, or blue." So uh, red, and then I go back to dollar A, and we can see that now we we're back to our uh, red car. And uh, so and this is how you do it. So you define your uh, your base class, uh, then you inherit from the base class. And uh, then I can use my enumerations uh, methods or what have you um, that I've got. So this is Ed Wilson. I'm the Microsoft Scripting Guy. And um, 
This is using um, class inheritance uh, and uh, working um, with overriding those classes.